Hey guys, today we're going to be going over the Kitsune update in Blocks Fruits. They added a new fruit, which is called the Kitsune, which I just got and I mastered all of it. I'm at Mastery 300, so I can actually transform and do all the moves. I'm going to be showing it off in today's video. And also, I'm going to be telling you guys about the new items in the game. Specifically, the Fox Lamp and how to get it and, you know, everything we know about it so far. So yeah, without further ado, if you have not, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into this Blocks Fruits fruit review I guess so first of all you need three tails in order to transform so if I try to transform right now it says must have max tails to transform and if you really want to get it really fast all you got to do is like kill like an NPC so let me just lower this NPC's health real quick there we go and now let me just use like a random move you know there we go and uh, you can see the three tails right there as soon as you get like this rainbow effect that means you can finally transform so basically you can just you know kill someone or maybe Maybe just kill a few NPCs, which will probably be easier. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and transform. So three, two, one, and boom, there it is. The kit soon. And the cool thing is you can like run on water with this, so you can use it. But the thing is, uh, you probably don't want to use it too much. So you can only use it for as long as you have three tails. And once you drop down to like one tail, I think then you can't use it. Okay, this person had it. Oh, that's cool. So just running around with this, it is really, really smooth. Like the tail just moves up and down and stuff. It's a really sick fruit. But the problem with this is that it, it's pretty costly. It costs 4,000 Robux or if you want to buy it, but it's not per it's gonna cost 8 million cash which is you know not cheap I would say however I would like to say that with the animations and stuff and you know how fluid everything is with this fruit like it's pretty fun to play around with it also yeah you can go pretty fast with it as well the mobility with it I would say it, it makes it a really really good fruit so yeah this is the most expensive fruit in the game it surpasses the leopard so uh, I guess this you can technically say it might be the best but yeah let's go ahead and try to PvP with this and just see like how good it is but just for some context I never had the leopard fruit so i'm not really even sure if this is even going to be better so let's go ahead and just test it out all right so you guys can tell i have two tails right now and that's because you know you gain tails over time but you also gain tails just by fighting so if i just really wanted to i could just fight this boss right here and after doing some damage all right let me just go into observation hockey and find this boss real quick you can see that my tails or if you look really closely the bar is going up and down because if you use a move then it will go down a little bit but if you you know do some damage and attack it would go back up. So that's a cool thing about this fruit. But anyway, I'm gonna try to fight this boss and then I'll try to show off the PvP because you know I don't have <laughs> three tails right now. So I am gonna to need to do a little bit more fighting. Now, right now I'm at two tails, so I'm still trying to go there, but you can see it's slowly going up without me even fighting, but you can see I, I need three to transform. Must have max tails to transform. All right, so now you can tell I have three tails because, you know, it's glowing. You, you can have three tails, but if the bar is not fully filled up, it's not going to work. So now let me go ahead and do some PVP and uh, show you like, you know, how smooth it is. I really feel it's a pretty good fruit, but yeah, it is kind of overpriced, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you. So transform has this amazing animation and... And there it is so this is what it looks like so now let me go ahead and show you guys the first move you know I'm gonna try to like use as many moves as possible so there we go this is the accru acc accursed enchantment and then we got the tales of agony right here and I'm gonna use the foxfire disruption and finally the wild assault and there we go, just using all the moves right there, uh, just at one at a time would bring them to half health. So let me go ahead and try to like spam as many moves as possible to see what can happen. So let's go ahead and do this. Starting off the wild assault, and then we're gonna go for the Tales of Agony, and then we're gonna try to go to the Cursed Assessment, and there we go. Looks like if you spam all the moves a little bit, and also has some pretty fast, I would say, like, recovery time. Like, you can see, like, I, I recovered pretty quickly with from all of them. Now, without the transformation, it's just like you running around like a fox. I find that pretty good that they, you know, incorporated that with the fruit. I feel that's kind of smart. But yeah, over time, you're gonna get Tails, so even if you don't PvP, you can uh, eventually you can use them. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over the item that pretty much everyone wants right now, and that is the Fox Lamp. It is a mythical sword, so it is like really good. And to get it, it is another C event. If you played the last update for the Halloween event, in order to get like the new item, you had to also find a C event. And this C event is pretty rare. So over here, this is the Blocks Fruits Discord server. They said, you know, Kitsune update. So this is what we have. So discover a glowing mythical shrine that when activated summons a captivating blue moon over the dark sea 
collect the Azure Embers during the Blue Moon event and exchange them for exclusive rewards. So basically to explain that, what you need to do is wait for there to be like a full moon in the sky. So you can tell right now it is not a full moon. You need to wait for that to become a full moon. So I guess it's probably gonna be easier in like a VIP server or something. And once it becomes a full moon, you need to go out into the sea. Okay, this is new. The ship like has like the health bar right here. So you can actually tell where you're going and stuff or you don't have to look at the top of your ship so what you need to do is go to like a danger level six and you know that zone where you can't see anything after you go past danger level six on a full moon that's when there's a small chance that this island will spawn in and that's when you can do the event to get the fox lamp so this is what the island looks like you can see it is uh danger level six and over here this is where you do the event now for the now for the melee weapon the fox lamp it has two moves we got this one at mastery 150 and we got another one at mastery 350 so if you want to see that also i was like look look how cool the animations are on this thing Oh my gosh, bro. So by the looks of it right now, we can't really get it. You can see it is only a half moon. All right, I do have three tails, so I'm gonna go ahead and transform, and now I can just like walk on water. Now, the thing is, I can't really just stand still or else I will sink. But the thing is that the tails will also decrease over time if you use moves or something like that. So you don't wanna do it for too long because you might lose the transformation. There's also another thing I want to tell you guys, and that is you can use your melee with the Kitsune fruit. So let me go ahead and show you. Look at this, I'm just using it on this MP see right here i completely forgot about it and it seems like it does actually a significant amount of damage i didn't i didn't even realize that so i guess you can do some combos of this first before using like moves for pvp so yeah i just kind of just figured it out right now i i didn't even know after all this time just using it but it does make sense because you can see i can't use my fighting animation or also my sword so i guess it kind of makes up for it so that's probably the reason why they added it. But it does have a really nice animation to it. There's also two more accessories that are new to the game. And one is like the Kitsune mask and it gives you like a 10% more like damage boost and stuff. And basically just improves like your abilities and stuff. And there's also another one, just the Kitsune ribbon. Those are also the two new items to the game. So yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about this new fruit. I'm sure a lot of you guys would probably complain about the pricing for this. And I would definitely agree with you because it does seem like a lot of money just for the fruit. But, you know, let me know what you guys think of just me playing around with it. Do you guys think it's worth it or not? And, yeah, let me know down below. If you guys are not, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next Blocks Fruits video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!